doing just one graphql operation over different postgres databases and we saw in the last community call that now you can have like different uh, post you can add different uh, postgres databases you can you can add mysql database and so on but what we'll see here is kind of like requesting data from these different data sources together in just one operation uh so let's go to the first demo here so quickly check that i don't have any docker containers running and this is my docker compose file and i have two postgres containers in this postgres 1 and postgres 2 and i'm running this uh, preview build so let's start this cool so let's see if it's running yep and what i'm going to do is initialize some data in the first database and also initialize some data in the second database so let me just do that using psql so i'm creating a table called authors in the first postgres database and i'll create a table called articles in the other postgres database and just a contrived example probably not the uh, most semantically sensible distribution of data but uh you can have any 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 tables uh in different postgres databases right so using psql i'll populate the, the first data so one second oops so so then restart mode let me check this Hmm. Let me just restart this and try again. Or you know, okay, let me just try this one more time. So what I'm going to do is quickly change this back to one database, and then we'll launch another database. fingers crossed okay okay so this seems to be stable and i also launch another docker container with postgres separately so this is in let's call this postgres 2 port 732 okay a little bit of startup trouble but uh, yeah so we have three containers here uh, postgres 2 there's one postgres and we have the graphql engine running i want to do uh, i want to initialize the data here so inserted the table for articles uh in postgres 1 and i'm going to do the same thing but on port 7432 for postgres 2 right so now i have data so let me go to my console here 3000 cool uh so if i go to data tab i can see that i can see uh, postgres one author is available in the default uh, postgres database so i'll quickly go and track that and i can also kind of uh, add another database let's call this postgres pg2 and i need to give the connection string so let me take that from here okay and a small thing that i need to do is uh, since i'm connecting to docker i need to change this to the docker port click save uh and now if i go to if i change the 
postgres database i can see that articles table is here so i can track that as well and let me start querying right so i can query pg1 author and this returns some data from the first postgres database and i can also do pg2 articles it returns some content and id and we can see articles and what i can also do is just do them together and i can see that the data is returned uh, from both databases and joined together not not joined very deeply like they're joined they're kind of like just concatenated together but this is the kind of uh, uh, a feature that will enable you to like query from different data sources at the top level it could be a remote schema it could be mysql and postgres and so on and so forth so that infrastructure is ready